Residents of Mavoko, whose houses have been demolished, have decried the inhumane nature of the evictions. The residents, some of whom now have to stay in makeshift structures to protect whatever is left after the demolitions, spoke to NTV's Sydney Chazima, detailing the pain and despair that has befallen them. This is the site that greets you as you enter the disputed East Africa Portland cement land in Mavoko. Brick, timber, metal and roof lay disjointed as houses now remain shells. For the residents, it is all about salvaging what is left. Lorries, trucks and pickups are being loaded with household items ready to be ferried. John Kamau told NTV that he settled here nearly five years ago. This eviction will be his second since his parents were forcefully evicted from Molo during the 2007 post-election violence. Were there any title deeds that were offered? There are no, no title deeds. We were told title deeds will come as we go block by, by block because there are so many blocks. So we were told block, block Ikija, title zita, zita toka. That was the message. And that was when, like, how many years ago? That was in 2018. I bought it in 2018, like March 2018. Up to now, nothing has ever come out. Has ever happened. But you, after we learned that there is a case, that is why even the title, issuing of titles are, 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 are not over. So there is a, a pending case, which I think had run for, for some time before we, we came in. For a family man, having to break the news to his children and wife, has been a hard task. Uh, my wife has been hit hard, but she has been strong. The kids are not yet so much in that, eh? but they still feel you can see. Uh, the worry is they are going to be affected maybe in their education. They are in college, they are pursuing their career courses. I don't know if they are going to be affected. Uh, the young lady, she is in Nairobi Technic, uh, Nairobi is Institute of Technology. She has not been able to come. She said she better be there, but the boy has been around. The eviction has brought untold losses to them, as others make away with what is left. For the past three days, residents of Mavoko in this particular area where the evictions and the demolitions have been going on have had to sleep in their cars just to uh, protect and salvage whatever they can get from the demolitions. That is where I slept, that is where I'm going to sleep until I clear all this rumble and know what I can dispose and what can be able to afford me some rent and some upkeep as I adjust to the new life. You also have to protect, you have said you have to protect your property here. From, from who? Uh, bad glass. Uh, somebody who can come in and see a chuma here and want to grab, to do and do scrap. So, so many people are idling, they just want to do, they just want to cause more hurt. The East Africa Portland cement land has been under contention for over 10 years. Former Machakos governor Alfred Mutua had raised the alarm with the ESCC over the manner in which the land was allegedly being grabbed and sold. A recent court ruling on the 9th of October declared that the land belonged to the EAPC and those who had settled on it did so illegally. But you are told, uh, never, it is not lost. So we can do an appeal. So we thought maybe there will be an appeal. But after the mention that happened at the EPZ yeah. from the president, that he wants some piece of land for, I don't know, development of what, at that moment is when we saw the trucks coming at the special unit, the AP special unit, that is where they were parked. According to President William Ruto, part of the land recovered will be used for the expansion of the EPZ zone. We have now been uh, cleared by the courts on the land that is adjacent to EPZ that belong to um, uh, Portland Cement. My instructions are we will take either 1,000 or 1,500 of that land and make it part of EPZ here in Sydney Chazima, NTV.